What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. We're finally back out in the desert and we are doing a test on the Safe Vest Level 3A soft body armor. So they sent me a couple samples to try out. Um, I'm gonna be wearing this one right now, but here's where we're running the test on. So let's take a look at it real quick and just kind of inspect it a little bit before we destroy it. It comes in two pieces when you buy it, the front and the back. So the top part of the vest, you have these straps and they're adjustable. So however your shoulder height, everybody has different size torsos. When you find your proper height, you just lay these over the top. The vest is universal. So you have a pad in the back and you have a pad in the front. And one size pretty much fits all with this guy. So let's take a quick look at the pad itself before we destroy it. And then after we start shooting it, we'll actually cut the pad open and take a look at that too. But here's the pad insert. You have a soft foam uh, side and then you have a hard side. I'm guessing the hard side is your, your layered fibers. You can actually see the, the fibers through this, through this um, nylon. So the stitching looks fine. I don't see anything fraying or tearing. Otherwise, this part goes inside, this part goes outside. We're gonna be running this test on a five gallon water jug. So is this the best thing to put the vest on? I don't know, but considering what we had, I think so. If you have penetration, it's gonna probably penetrate the plastic also, and you have some pretty big water leaks. We're gonna start with a 22, then we're gonna move up to a 38 special. We're gonna move to a nine millimeter, 45 ACP. Unfortunately, 3A body armor is rated for 44 Magnum. I don't have a 44 Magnum right now, so we're gonna jump right to the 454 Kazool, and then the 50 AE, which it's not rated for either of those. Let's get started. So I'm gonna apologize for the wind, it's a really windy day. Right now, first thing we're gonna shoot is the Walther P22. We're using some CCI Mini Mag 22 long rifle. So I'm gonna do two shots right in the center. All right, this is from the 22. Here's our two hits and nothing come through that's good I, I would hope it would stop at 22. <laughs> all right jenna is going to be shooting the 38 special the smith and wesson so this is just regular full metal jacket 38s so two right in the center all right so here's our two impact points here and here kind of all over the place jenna it's okay um, you hit the pad still, which is what's important. So you can feel a little different deforming right here. I can feel the jacket right here, so it'll be fun pulling this apart. I don't feel too much deforming down here, but we don't have any water leaks. So it passes the 38 special test. Okay, so Jenna's shooting uh, SP-01 Shadow. It's a nine millimeter CZ. I love that gun. She actually got it for me for Christmas like eight years ago. I'm gonna redeem myself. Five shots in the center. Five? Five. You heard me. That was a miss. All right, let's check it out. Best did start rotating. Jenna missed one, but that's all right. Don't, don't judge her. All right. Well, for starters, the important thing is I don't feel any penetration. That's good. So you can see where the impacts are. One, two, one, two, three, four, and then five. Right on the right on the belly. Barely missed the pad there, but you got it. And you don't have any water leaks. I'm just testing out the wide range that it has. Yeah, we'll go with that. It has a wide range right now. <laughs> so we, so if Jenna's hit on every corner of the pad, let me start shooting the center of it now. <laughs> um, 
let's shoot it with something that, okay, so here's the deal. The next thing we're gonna shoot it with, it's not rated for. No, sorry, we're gonna do 45. 45 ACP next. The wind is bad right now. We have a Colt Officers. It's a 45 ACP. We're shooting some regular full metal jacket ammunition. Two hits right in the center. Watch me make a full of this. Here we go. Hey guy, just knock the lid off is all. All right, so the 45 shook it up pretty good. These are your two 45 hits. You can see the holes are a lot bigger. That being said, we don't have any penetration on the bottle yet, which is good. I would think that this would stop a 45 before a nine millimeter anyways. It's a bigger, slower bullet, but um, the deforming is getting a little, it's deforming a little bit, but it's really not that bad yet. Um, so we're gonna hit it with some stuff that's impractical now. I'm thinking the 454 Kazool. All right, we have a Ruger Alaskan 454 Kazool. It's a big round. I pronounce it Kazool. I've heard Kaso, I've heard Kazool. It's a 454. I'm gonna do one shot right into the center of the vest and let's see if it stops that. It's not rated for 454. Anything I shoot from here on out, if it stops it, it's a bonus. There we go. I don't know if we have penetration. I think we... Oh, I think we do. It's uh, leaking. It's actually going into the water bottle. So I'm actually going to take this off. Question is, did it actually catch it and just crack the water bottle? Actually, it stopped it. It just deformed it really bad, enough to crack the water bottle. Interesting. That's crazy. I mean, that's going through your skin. That's breaking ribs. <laughs> so, um, that would prevent a bullet from going inside your body. But that's a 454 Kazool. So, let's go ahead. Gosh. Should have brought duct tape. Ah, should have brought duct tape. It's all right. We'll just start shooting it lower as it leaks. Here we have a Desert Eagle, chambered in 50 AE. This is a hollow point uh, made by Hornady. I just can't find full metal jackets right now, so we're gonna be shooting hollow points. Let's see if the vest can stop a 50 AE hollow point. It did technically stop the 454 Kazool. Even though it broke the water bottle, it caught the round. So let's see if this actually catches it or makes it through. Let's do another one. why this is a shooting table right here Ooh, right there. oh yeah I kind of caught the fragments a little bit on the bottom well second hit I believe is is it right here let's take a look in here so that's our second impact right there and I think we have the same thing I'm actually gonna open this up to get it out to see see it did not penetrate it actually caught it right there you can tell right there. All right, so we're moving up to the uh, long guns now. This is technically a pistol, so we'll call it that. We're shooting 300 blackout subsonic. Um, I have the rugged obsidian 45 suppressor on it. Very fun rifle. Uh, pistol. Let's do it. I think it stopped them. Let's check it out. All right, got the hits right in the center. Let's just lift it up. We have no penetration, no new penetration from the 300 blackout subsonic. So we're gonna pull this back down. Let's go for the 7.62 by 39. We have a Palmetto State Armory KS-47. This is chambered in the 7.62 by 39. We're gonna put two right in the center. Uh, no, we're gonna do one. I don't wanna chew it up too bad yet. There's no way I stopped it. Let's check it. 
Well, it's not rated for a 7.62 by 39. So I'm not angry at the body armor. Is that the impact you think? Maybe. Let's check it out. Yep. yep. That's the hit on the bottle. You ever forget your magazine at home? Well, that's exactly what happened here. That's okay. We have a couple 223s. We're gonna be shooting out of the Mini 14. I'm just gonna have to do one of these and one of those. Let's shoot it. Here we go. A couple more center shots on the Mini 14. Yeah, we're starting to tear through. I believe that was the kill shot right there. This thing's awfully puffy. I think that's our penetration right here. Put a new water bottle in and same pad. So let's see what a 50 BMG does. Let's go for the wow factor on this one. Oh, it's so hot in here. All right, big guy. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> inside the water. Well, that's our impact and that's our, our exit. That is done. The table buckled from it, which is interesting. This vest is not rated to stop a 50 BMG. Could have guessed that. The Safe Vest 3A Armor successfully stopped a 22 LR 38 Special, uh, five rounds from a nine millimeter. It stopped a 454 Kazool um, I mean, it destroyed the water bottle, but it still caught the bullet and it stopped the two shots of a or two rounds from a Desert Eagle 50 AE. Um, of course, um, oh, sorry, it also stopped uh, three rounds of 300 blackout subsonic. I mean, some of the things I shot at it, it's not ready to stop. So, of course, it's not going to stop the 50 BMG. Of course, it's not going to stop a 7.62 by 39 or the 5.56, 223, whatever you want to call it right now I know there's a difference but it didn't stop those anyways if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new videos again this is Steve with the mr. big kid channel guns and barbecue that's what the channel is all about hope you guys sign up and follow and join the family thank you all so much for watching and thank you very much to safe fest for giving me an opportunity to demo some of these uh, these vests for you it's been fun I'll see you guys.